Hey y'all! Welcome back to our channel, Kentucky Fried Fun, and welcome if you're new. Today, I am going to be doing some spring cleaning in our office room, and then I'm going to be setting up a paper system. Don't leave me here forever Don't let me be alone Just you and me together If you like cleaning motivation, declutter motivation, give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new, perhaps you're coming over from the challenge, welcome! I'm so glad that you chose to watch my video today. And if you like what you see on my video today, head on over to my channel and browse through it. While you are there, you will find more cleaning and declutter motivation, as well as some decoration inspiration. And if you like that type of content, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. And then once you've clicked that little red subscribe button, be sure to also click that little bell that's right next to it and that will notify you each time I have a new video coming out and I do have some more spring cleaning videos coming out and I wouldn't want you to miss out on those like I mentioned this is a challenge that is being hosted by two of my favorite ladies here on YouTube Christy with inspired living with Christy and Sherry with pretty simple Sherry and I will be sure to leave a link to both of their channels up in the cards as well as down in the description box because y'all definitely want to go check them out I participated in their appetizers collab that they hosted this past like Christmas time I absolutely love both of these ladies so much this is part of a challenge and it is called the spring clean with me challenge and this is the first in their series that they're calling something for all seasons series and I will be sure to leave a link to that playlist of all the other ladies in their spring cleaning videos up in the cards at the end of this video and down in the description box in case you need some more cleaning motivation after you have finished watching my video this video is also going to be a combination I'm going to be combining the spring cleaning portion for this challenge at the beginning and then at the end I'm going to be doing week nine in the hug your home challenge and if you are unfamiliar with that I will leave a link to a video up in the cards as well as a full playlist down in the description box to the past eight weeks of this challenge that I have been doing it is hosted by Cass from Clutterbug I'll also leave a link to her channel down in the playlist so that you can go check her out as well I absolutely I'm loving this challenge and for week nine it is the paper system so I thought this would be a great way to combine the spring cleaning that I need to do in my office room and then as well setting up a paper system that will work for me. As part of this challenge, Christy and Sherry simply wanted us to say one or two tips for spring cleaning and I watched Christy's video yesterday, her live that she had about getting ready and getting started for a successful spring cleaning and I had already planned out this video and listed my two reasons so I am not copying her but I think that goes to show my two my two tips two of my tips I I have several I could have mentioned my two tips are very common and very helpful and one would just simply be to listen to some music or a pop-up a video a YouTube video that's what I will most likely be doing or listening to a playcast something like that to have something in the background and to get you excited and then another tip I like to use anytime I'm cleaning is just to start from the top of your room and go to the bottom like for me I am going to be starting with the shelves I'm just going to be dusting those off Once I've dusted those off, 
I will then dust off the desk. shelves below it. desk I'm then going to move over to the window and this I will already say this will be part of next week's hug your home for week 10 walls and windows and like I said last week I was wondering what Cass was going to do and I was right to when I thought she was going to be cleaning so I'm so excited so if you want some more cleaning spring cleaning motivation in fact be sure to come back for next week's video as well as the last two in the series Anyways, back to my cleaning. I'm just going to clean out the window, wipe down the windowsill. Then I'm going to go to the bottom. Well, actually, before that, I'm going to vacuum off the couch. And the last thing that I'm going to do is I've worked from top, slowly get to the bottom is vacuum my floor. Can't do any cleaning video without vacuuming because who does not love those vacuum lines, y'all? One of my favorite things is vacuum lines. So I'm ending it with vacuuming. This is all nice and clean. It feels so good, y'all. I am going to show y'all our paper system using the five steps that Cass has put in place. So the first step is to have an action file, which is this, which we take the mail that we get on a daily basis from here to here. I divide it very simply, not by bills or anything. And then I'm going to take this into the office and I will show y'all the second step to this paper system. Now, now that I've brought my accordion file into our office, I will then take this little binder that I have or book. I found this at Goodwill. You can see it there. It was a dollar, but I might have even paid 50 cents for it. Y'all know I love my half off days at Goodwill. But I'll take this home a finance bill organizer, and that is how I what I use to organize our bills, and I'll just show y'all here skipping up to April and May since I do have bills in the other but this is a close-up of it and I really love it you can just simply I'll show up a closer up view of it but you can write down your due date for the bill the name of the bill under the expenses file and then the amount it is due it has a dollar and cent spot then you can check when it is paid and I really love this because if you write in pencil on here you can easily erase it and use it here after a year and I did find one at Dollar Tree and I have seen them at Dollar General as well but I really like to use this to then take our bills and organize them and then once I have done our bills into that for the month I will then if the from the previous month or at the end of this month I will take those bills and I will just simply put them into this money binder that I have right here I created this for us 
like two, three, four years ago, something like that. It's been a while, and I just used scrapbook paper and a notebook that I had on hand. And then I have page protectors on the inside, and I have a page protector for each bill. And I will put like all at the end of the month. I'll put say the mortgage bill in that page protector, and I was use that same page protector for each mortgage bill for the whole year and then once those are done my husband usually handles the rest and this is what I would call our long term for the year I would say and then we also have what the that is the third step is the long term filing system so my short term with these two and then my long term or at least for the year and then the fourth step is just to have a like family management binder and where you keep all where I like to keep your important papers which I guess you could also term as your long term I don't know our system is fairly simplified I would say since we don't have kids yet we don't have all the extra paperwork but I will show you all that uh, bin that I have actually sitting down here this is the bin that I keep it in. I bought these bins, I think it was from Walmart. I absolutely love them. Honestly, I love the color. It's like, here's his dentist folder. Here's my dentist folder. And then for our dog with the vet, we just keep it in the thing that they gave us. And then the fifth and final step that Cass says is to, just to shred all of those papers that you do not need to keep and like I said, we stay pretty well on top of it and we don't have all those extra papers you might have if you have children, so I also don't have anything to shred. But Hey y'all, so I just wanted to close this out for y'all. I hope that you enjoyed watching me do some spring cleaning and then showing y'all our paper system that I have found works for us. And if you did, please be sure to leave my video a big thumbs up. And if you liked what you saw, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe so that you don't miss out on more cleaning, spring cleaning videos that I will have coming out. I am planning on doing a like series after I'm finished with this hug your home series which will end this month and then in April I am planning to do a four week or five week however many weeks are in April spring cleaning series so I hope that you will subscribe and click that little bell so that you don't miss out on those videos thank you so much for watching and thank you again to Christy and Cherry for hosting this challenge I absolutely enjoyed it getting my office room nice and clean I hope y'all have a blessed day and I'll see y'all later. Bye!